Hey guys, this is Computer Techie, and today I'm going to show you how to make a custom Walt Disney Pictures intro using 3D software called Blender. So, uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to go online, and I recommend that you go on uh, onto a website called downloads.com. Um, hold on a second, let me type this in. And if it doesn't work for downloads.com, type in download.cnet.com. Oh. Hold on a second. Uh, okay, so this page should show up. So first thing you want to do is you want to type in Blender up on the search bar up top, uh, on the uh, on top of the website. And uh, let me click search real quick. Okay, so this page of search results should show up. Um, you uh, want to go ahead and click uh, Download Now next to Blender. And whenever you download Blender, it's also going to ask you to download 3D software called Python. Uh, you want to go ahead and do that. It'll direct you to Python's website, and you can download it from Windows. So then, after you do that, you want to go onto a website called uh, WoodyFamilyCinema.com. And uh, some people who have Norton, they might say uh, it might say that it's a has a question mark next to it. Believe me, it's safe. It doesn't have any problems. It just hasn't been tested. So this should show up. You want to click on Custom Intros and Projects, and you sh you should see a bunch of different pictures of movies. Uh, movie intros. You want to go ahead and up top there should be a Walt Disney one. You want to click Walt Disney 3D Final dot zip, and you want to click save. Uh, but I've already saved it, so uh, I'm just going to close out of that, and I'm going to minimize this. Okay, so it should save it uh, on on your computer. Uh, if you have Vista, it'll save it into Documents. But if you have uh, Windows 7. It should uh, probably save it into uh, downloads. And you want to go ahead and click on Walt Disney uh, 3D Final. And uh, that should have all the uh, Blender template inform uh, information stuff. Sorry. All right, so you want to click on that. And down here, there should be a thing that says Walt Disney 3D Final. If you double click on it, it should open up Blender. Um, so you, I'm going to do that in a second. And it also has the Disney music. So whenever you make your video, uh, you can all, uh, you can put that music into it. So I'm going to double click on this and it should open up Blender. And this little box is what Python is. And this is Blender. Okay. So it, it should look like this. Um, so the first thing that you want to do uh, is you want to click on, uh, panels down here and you want to change it to editing. And this uh, box down here should change in a second. Okay, so it should look like that. All right, so first thing you want to do is you want to press Tab, because Walt Disney is already selected. And it should look like this. And uh, you can go ahead and press Backspace. Um, hold on a second. Usually if you click somewhere on the word, it should help. And then you can just Backspace it. Now in the video, you may notice um, I used the Walt Disney font. And so to get that font, you want to go online and um, you want to go onto a website uh, called urbanfonts.com. This is also a uh, virus-free website. And, um, uh, okay, so this should show up. And there should be another box that looks like that just close out of it. And it might have another pop-up that uh, coaxes you to buy something like ebony or something. You just want to go ahead and close out of that. All right, so up here you want to type in Walt Disney, and um, after you type in Walt Disney and click search, there should be a page that looks like this. So you want to click Win if you want to download it for Windows, and you want to click Mac if you want to download it for Mac. So I'm just going to click Win, I'm going to click Save, okay. and it uh, just press Save again. All right, done. So I'm just going to close that. I'm going to minimize that. Okay, so to uh, whenever you download it, it's going to put it um, into documents as well, or, in, or into downloads as well. And uh, I'm going to click on Walt Disney this time, and there should be a thing that says True Type Font File. I'm going to right click on the one that says True Type Font File and click Copy, or if you want to click Cut, go ahead and do that. And I'm going to put it in documents. I'm going to press Paste. And you have to take it out of that folder because it is a compressed folder and Blender will not be able to access it otherwise. So to change the font, you want to click on this tiny little button that says load beneath the word font. And this window should show up. You want to press P until it says only C colon slash right here. 
and that's just your main C drive. So I'm going to click on Users, and I'm going to click on Computer Techie, and I'm going to select uh, Down or Documents because that's where I pasted it. Then you want to click uh, WDS011402.TTF, click on it, and then go over here and click on Select Font. So it should change the font. So um, uh, hold on a second. So you want to click right here. You just go ahead and click wherever you want, and then you can start typing it in. I'm going to type in Computer Techie. Um, okay, so if you like it the way it is, then you can go ahead and press tab, and it should look like this. And to move it up and down, you can click on the blue arrow, and uh, move your arrow up and down. You should move it, uh, the word up, to, up and down, and you can click on the red arrow. You should move it left and right. And if you click on this one right here, it enlarges it or uh, shrinks it. And you can just move it around wherever you want. I'm, I like it the way it is right there, so I'm just going to press A to deselect it. And it should look like this. Okay, so if you want to change the word pictures, you want to down or right click on it. And uh, it should have the pink outline, and you want to press tab, and it should look like this. And I like it the way it is, so I'm just going to press tab again. And I'm going to press A to deselect it. So now you want to go up here and click render. And uh, hold on a second. So click on render settings, and this is only if you like it the way it is. So uh, first thing first, you want to change your size X to 1280, 1280, and you want to make your size Y over here. Uh, you want to change that to 720, and this is the full screen format for YouTube. And it should say AVI RAW down here. You want to make sure that actually says AVI JPEG because this would be the uh, fastest format to download and the best quality. So you want to click on this little folder right here. It says LMP next to it. I don't know. So I'm just going to click on that. And it should already be in your C drive. So you want to click Users. And I'm going to click Computer Techie. And I'm going to save it into Documents. And once you do that, um, you want to click Select Output Pictures. So you've already determined where you're going to send it and how it's going to uh, be formatted. Down here, there should be a little icon that says N375. That just means there are 375 pictures to make this video. And um, it should download in about an hour. It uh, doesn't take that long. Um, and so uh, I was just saying, so if you, uh, whenever you... Uh, that was just a tip. All right, so... Whenever you're done, you want to click A-N-I-M, and that will open up another uh, box. It says Blender Render, and uh, after it says F-R-A-375 in the top left corner, and it'll be done. And I hope this was really helpful. I thought it was a pretty simple tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, please send me a message or leave me a comment. I will know. Um, I really appreciate your guys' input, and thank you for watching this.